So I have a message for Colby Covington. Listen, the UFC is an amazing organization and a great sport. The game of boxing is one of my favorite sports out there. But you giving the name such a bad reputation with your racist, sick, vile approach, trying to call out superstars, right? So he writes here, LOL, at the snowflakes that believe King James could even last 10 seconds with me. If that coward had the balls or the ability to kick anyone's ass, Delonte West would have lost his teeth long before his meth habit. And then he puts there, I want to dedicate this fight to all the first responders, all the military out there. You keep us safe, not these woke athletes, not these spineless cowards like LeBron James. So this guy thinks he's the fucking superhero right now, right? Because he won a little fight. He's been knocked in the brain many times, lost a lot of cells. Um, buddy, I, I want to remind you, Mr. Covington, that your net worth is $2 million, if that, in 2020. I want to remind you that uh, King LeBron James' net worth is uh, $450 million, right? 225 times richer than you. And he's accomplished thousands times more than you will ever in your lifetime, right? Because your, your, your career is short and sweet. And yes, it's awesome to watch UFC games. And yes, we have to respect the cops and the military as well. So I'm not dissing the military or the cops at all, right? But he aligns himself with Trump. Um, and he mentions Trump in these tweets. Trump has dissed the military and the police on many, many occasions. And they will get their day of reckoning on November the 3rd. Because I'll tell you what, they'll be voting against him, right? So you got your facts wrong, buddy, Mr. Covington. You owe... Um, LeBron James, a massive apology. What these individuals have done for Black Lives Matter, what they've done for the black community, you won't achieve in your lifetime. Mark my words, right? You're a one, one show wonder. You can have a couple of fights and then you're gone, right? And as tough as that sport is, you call out other people in your sport. He'll call out people in his sport, right? To mix and match and challenge. If he would he would never challenge you to a basketball match because you'd look like a fool, right? And vice versa, you might challenge him to a UFC fight. He would look like a fool. What you do in sports is you stick to what you're good, good at and you use your name as a powerful tool out there. What you're doing, Colby Covington, is you're not using your name or the brand UFC as a powerful tool to change things. You are actually showing that you're a racist through and through. And obviously, you're screaming for attention, maybe the attention you didn't get as a little child, right? But you're screaming out now. Maybe you're screaming out for Twitter followers. By, by the way, you will never have the same Twitter followers as LeBron. You will never have the same Facebook followers. You will never have the same YouTube followers, right? So you, to me, are a, a desperate cry for attention. The NBA world NBA coaches have spoken out against Covington. The UFC needs to speak out against Covington because um, I grew up with a lot of boxers. You know, I have been around Mike Tyson in the wild card gym and seen true fighters that have been out there for many, many years, right? The bottom line is you will never, ever be a Mike Tyson, right? You will never, ever be and Ali, you will never be like one of the top people in the UFC, right? So cut, cut the crap talk, cut the racism, you know, it's not necessary. I would apologize because I know and read every single day what this gentleman does for the community, for his community and for the black community, right? He's built schools, he's donated and to turn around and call such a high-profile figure who's doing good around the globe, not just, I mean, Covington might be known in UFC circles, right? Your name is not known in Europe, Japan, Asia. They don't know who you are, right? They don't even know who you are in South Africa. And I grew up with a stable of boxers. They'd whip your ass in three seconds. Guys like Kevin Larina, Tabisum Shungu. Talsam Benge, they'd whip your ass in two and a half seconds. You're nothing. You're no one, right? So invest that $2 million that you have wisely. Maybe one day 
Maybe in 30, 40, 50, 60 years, you'll get up to $450 million if you make some good investments. But don't diss people, the top, top people in the sporting game, right? Just as you don't want to be dissed as a UFC fighter. The way, long story short, ladies and gentlemen, this is a desperate, desperate cry for attention, a desperate cry to pick up social media followers, right? And really inflame that that right-wing racist group of people, right? I don't even think that the military or the cops would feel comfortable with your tweet. And please correct me if I'm wrong, right? These people, I've been in the military. And I don't respect you after I read this, right? Because this is screams racism. Allow the people to have their platform and make a, a, a difference on Black Lives Matter, right? You, you don't want that movement to take place. It's very, very clear who you back here, Trump, who's also a racist like you, right? You, you make it very, very clear that you are a racist, and that's disgusting. The UFC should not allow this, right? And if I was the UFC, if I was Dana, I would kick this guy out, right? He doesn't do your brand any good, right? You're just inflaming and putting wood into the fire and fueling the fire of racism. It's all you are doing. And mark my words, you will never, ever in your entire life be a Le LeBron James. Good luck to you.